Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. Okay, so I've got a different camera angle today because uh, I've got a painting on my main easel, which you normally see on a Monday. Um, I don't want to disturb that because I'm, I'm in the middle of filming that. Just pick up a little bit of titanium white and a small amount of ultramarine blue on my brush. And we're just going to put a bit of sky in. Now we want it slightly darker towards the top and I put a like a an orangey type of gesso mix to warm up the sky onto my little bit of cardboard that I'm using actually a bit more white I just want to lighten this sky up a bit because this is like a, a summer sky I want a little bit of that orange to drag through A little bit more blue, I think, just a touch, just a touch of blue within the sky like this. Hey. Quite like these little um these little paintings that I've been doing. And I find these little paintings relaxing. I've got a plan to do um, a rather large um, painting of a, a tiger, hopefully over the next week or two. That's going to take a little bit of filming. I've got that on uh, my other easel at the moment, which is what you normally see. Uh, on my lessons but because that's taken up and taken so much time I don't want to keep pulling it down and putting it back up and and stuff I'm just gonna get a little bit of fluffiness in the sky like this maybe it's a few clouds in fact it's still a little bit wet now I'm using my own paints so um, I've got a they, they don't dry as quick as normal acrylics so it does help a little bit so that doesn't mean that you can't use any other acrylics that you have so don't worry about that you don't have to have any Pacific acrylics for this it's just I mix my own paints now and I use my own paints and because they work for me I've, I've actually found a formula that that works quite well for myself, um, which I quite like. And that's why I do what I do. You know, just put a bit of shadow in the bottom of that cloud there like that. I don't want too much activity in the sky. So I'm going to mix a little bit of green. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of ultramarine blue because I want this to be quite, quite a blue green. I'm going to have to put some cadmium yellow onto my palette in a minute. I want it slightly dark, maybe just a small amount of black to that. I want a nice dark green, but it's, I want a blue green. Because we're going to put a um, mountain in. Like this. A bit of a mountain range, hillside, if you would. I'm just gonna just darken the one side of that up a bit. I want it slightly darker on the top there. There, like that. Wash my brush a little bit. Again, a little bit more yellow ochre to the one side. And then I'm going to 
for a few more little bits there like this, like that. Bringing that down. Trying to represent maybe some fields and things. I'm just going to bring a little bit of white to the one side of that. Trying to develop a bit better yellow ochre down there, a bit more of this dark green now. Maybe there. I'm just going to blank that out that section. A bit more black on there. Bit more yellow ochre. Okay. The black, the Mars black I'm using has got blue in it, so maybe a bit darker than that. And maybe represent maybe some trees and things. It's a fields. You can see some. This is so distant anyway, it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. I'm going to do, I think it's going to add a little bit of um, yellow to my palette. I can find some yellow. to knock in my lights all over the shop. There we go, is another bit of light gone? <laughs> there we are, a bit of yellow. I've got to be careful because I've got my, my camera set up at a, at, a, at a weird angle here because I don't normally work like this. Like I said, I've got that mixing a bit of mid yellow straight into that green that I just made. I've got uh, that other painting on the on the other easel, so I've got no alternative really than to, than to paint like this. I'm going to brighten that up a little bit with some white because I want some brighter fields in the bottom there, like that. I'm going to bring another field down, another um, like mountain range now. Down. I'm going to darken that up a bit more. Just consistently mix in this paint until I get it to the, the colour I want. There you go. Some yellow. Just on a brush. There you go. I'm just going to put my brush into some water a minute. I'm going to pick up a, a detail brush. This is a, a number six, I believe. Um, again, I'm going to go into some black. I'm going to mix a little bit of black. So I want some darker colours maybe represent some little trees and things maybe there's a little forestry on the Welsh hillside there a couple of little fir trees and things like that you can see them in the distance there's mountains all around Wales that look like that so I'm going to get a little bit of blue and some white. I'm just going to mix a little bit of blue and white together. Because what I want to do is put a little bit of a, a river coming in. Down there or something like that. I just get this grass to come back down. There you go, pulling in some green area, 
เจ้าหนาบางเต็นหนาด้านนี่สปาร์เลอร์เปรฟยาลูกะเลยนั่นคือเฟสเซอร์เป็นมีบีอาร์ร็อกเฟสหรือไงก็เลยสมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆรีดเล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิกซ์เล็กๆเล็กๆกันไปด้วยกันเลยมิก
bit of dark there. Mixing a little bit of white to this green. I just want to get a nice bright light field. Like this. Nice light bit of grass there. You can see that the light is beaming down. On the on this field on this hillside because this is another hillside it's like that one over there let's get some of this dark color just play around with a bit of shadow under those trees like that there we are just rolling rolling hillsides Oops, I just knocked my camera. Let's put some light into this tree now. The light is coming this way, so we need to, to think about that. I'm going to change my brush over to a slightly bigger brush. This is the brush I painted the sky with. So now we need to get this green and get a bit of yellow ochre into this green mix. I want to make it a little bit darker than that, a bit bluer than that. yellow just adding a bit of yellow into that now this is lush lush pasture lush pasture get a bit of dark down there All different types of greens, blue greens, yellow greens. And just mix it in all together. There we are, let's put a bit more yellow in there. This reminds me of so much of one of the mountains, the hillsides that I, I walk a lot with my little dog Molly. I'm just gonna rest the brush. I'm gonna pick up some of this nice bright yellow green mix that we've done and I'm going to put a few bit more reflections in on this tree like this just like it's catching some light a bit more over there like that here a bit there but everywhere it's like an out to focus painting isn't it out to focus photograph Imagine standing down by there and doing a little bit of fishing, can't you? I could, I could. Just get a little bit of water, a little bit of moisture on my brush. And I'm going to do this. Mix 
It's gone on the Welsh hillside without sheep. There's sheep are everywhere in Wales. All you need to do to paint sheep is just a couple of little dots like that. Don't look like much at the moment, do they? Nope. Just a few dots. There's fish, sheep, and normally lie under trees like that. There you go. Okay, a little bit of black paint. A little bit of moisture, a little bit of black paint. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is just put a shadow in there and there. It's a black head, that one. <laughs> Easy as that. What we can do then, get a bit of grass colour. Just bed them down a bit. Just put a bit of shadow under them. Bit of bit of shadow. Because we know the lights are coming from this direction. When we can get a bit of white, pure white. And just slightly highlight the sheep and like that where the light is hitting. There's my little Welsh side painting. My C5A. Clive Five Arts, so I hope you've enjoyed that painting and um, thank you very much for joining me in the studio again today. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe and I'll see you.